This is the daily video update for Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Our prompt for today is this. Many say that the possibility of becoming anew requires us to come apart, to be undone. Do you buy it? Do you fear it? Have you already done it and can testify to its truth? So many times. This is very much the story of my 20s that I've, I've preached about plenty of times. You know, maybe there's a way to begin again from a standing start, but the times that it's happened to me, it's been after a season of, of reading a lot of Yeats, when things fall apart, the center cannot hold, mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. That we quoted in a sermon two weeks ago, but we'll do the whole thing today. The blood-dimmed tide is loosed, and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. Surely some revelation is at hand. Surely the second coming is at hand. That, maybe perversely, gives me some hope right now. There's another poem, this one by Lynn Ungar, who says... Maybe we even said it, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But when the skies fall like snow from an orange sky, you lost the trick of forgetting. We don't know what the end times look like, but it could be this. Maybe not. But when the towers and crumbling, when the towers are crumbling or the plane is going down, there is just one prayer that each person utters as they fall into cell phones or the rush of air. The last words we need to say, I love you. I just needed to be sure you know. Coming apart, feeling undone, whether it's a pandemic or a diagnosis or a loss of a job or any of the impossible to list tragedies that make up a life, all, all feels like an end. And yet, if the end comes and our response to it is, I love you, I just needed to make sure, make sure you know, then it seems to me that there are other possibilities contained in that moment. A chance to start again, a chance to remake our experience with love at the center. See you tomorrow.